One thing I like to preach over and over again is frequency. I'd rather have a system with old rattly buses that run every 10 minutes compared to a system that has nice buses but it only runs once an hour. But admittedly, Trans Tangerang is pushing this whole quantity over quality mindset to the very limit. So, I got to use Tayo's Corridor 1 twice. First from one dead mall to another deceased mall, that is Bali Kota and Icon Walk. I'm genuinely concerned at the state of malls in Tangerang City, but that's for Jakarta Mall's tier list part 3. Then I rode it again from Icon Walk to Boris Terminal. But let's start with the good. Tayo has live tracking via the glorious Mitra Darat app, and buses at Tison Corridor 1 run every 10 minutes. Tangerang also has built a lot of these high floor BRT shelters, so in some stops, you get weather protection. Boarding is where things get interesting though, because the floor of the bus is significantly lower than the floor of the BRT shelter, so you have to jump down. The whole point of having high floor shelters is so that you get level boarding, which makes getting on or off the bus faster and is more friendly towards people in wheelchairs. I got off in Icon Walk, which on one side has no BRT shelter, so I had to use the regular doors and open and close them myself like in an angkot. Also, this is how loud the bus is. The state of repair of the bus is also concerning. On my second ride to Porges Terminal, the bus has broken BRT doors, so it can't use the BRT shelters. Also, it's not a BRT. No bus lanes, no off-board payment, no level boarding, and no priority at intersections. That's not my criteria, but the criteria that the ITDP uses. Just call it a bus, a regular bus system. Another major issue is that it only runs until 7 p.m. Some people leave the office at 7 p.m. I've certainly left my university later than 7 p.m. Tang City is still crowded at 7 p.m. Whose idea is it to cut service this early? So, is this a horrible service worthy of condemnation to F-tier? No. The core service is actually pretty good, with 10 minute frequencies and live tracking. Plus it's really cheap at just 2,000 rupiah. This is better than any of the private developer shuttle buses. It also has decent coverage considering that South Tangerang's Trans Anger is dead and both Bekasi and Depok currently only have one line. Tayo should also focus on expanding service beyond Tangerang City, especially considering Tangerang's slightly strange layout of the city being mostly houses and dead malls. And all the nice malls, universities, and offices are all outside the borders of Tangerang City. Think that in Serpong, Alam Sutra, Puri Inda and Lipo Karawachi. There's also Kutabumi, a dense housing district located just past the border of Tangerang City that should also be served. If once every 10 minute service is currently unattainable in the short term, consider what Transpakuan did. At the very least, they connect Bogor with Santo City with a scheduled service that runs every 30 to 60 minutes. Once you provide a basic all-day service, gradually increase service until you have buses running every 10 to 15 minutes. If you think there's no demand for buses from Tangerang City to getting Serbong, well, how do you explain this? Also, please extend service to 9pm. Ideally, service should extend to midnight, so that it can also serve mall employees. 